You have to train. You have to put in the effort until one day it becomes effortless. My name is Cynthia and I am the founder and coach at Reset. We help people build emotional resilience. We help people feel great every single day through tools and techniques so that they can go ahead and live their best life. First thing is to allow yourself to feel. Whatever it is that you're feeling, frustration, anger, upset, excitement, joy, gratitude, whatever it is you're feeling, allow yourself to feel. Don't judge yourself for, why am I feeling angry? Why am I feeling? It's okay. It's okay to feel like you have bad days. But second of all, and this is the most important thing, the word resilience itself means to bounce back. Now give yourself that power to choose. Do I want to live in this frustration? Do I want to live in this state of feeling upset, down, and my body does this? Do I want to do that? Do I want to keep being here? If I don't want to, if this state is not helping me, then what can I do to bounce back? So since we're talking career, we're talking professional development, you're a young graduate, you just graduated. Believe me, this is something employers look for. More and more companies are looking to have candidates who, are, who have high EQ, high PQ, positive uh, intelligence quotient. Basically, candidates who are able to handle their emotions. Now, why? Because these candidates don't look as a challenge to hold them back. These candidates find a way to communicate better. These candidates find a way to be a team player, to be a leader, to be a person who goes, how can I help? And not, why didn't this happen to me? They find a way to figure it out. So first thing is you have to train your body. Use your body to help you feel great. Now, your body is such a powerful tool that you have. The ability for you to hear, the ability for you to breathe, the ability for you to move. All these things can help you feel good instantly and help you start thinking of how can I overcome this challenge as opposed to how can I find a way out, right? So train your body. If you need to relax, just move your head, circle your neck, roll your shoulders back, have some light stretches ready for you to do at any point, anywhere. If you take yoga, yoga is great. Stretch, feel relaxed. The other powerful thing is to breathe. So you have a nose, you have your diaphragm here. Take deep breaths, hold your breath and just release it out. Now, breathing is a technique that's so underestimated because nobody really taught you to breathe. You just go through life breathing shallow. But in the state of stress, or if you feel anxious about something, if you feel tired, everybody says this, breathe. Learn how to focus on what is good instead of what is bad. Now, there's so many challenges around us right now and there's so many reasons for you to feel frustrated, so many reasons for you to feel angry, to, for you to feel, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm lost. But if you can just switch it by training your mind, if you can just look at what you can control, hey, I might not have a job, but there's so many online courses that I can take. Maybe I should focus on that. I have so much time now, maybe there's an interest that I can pick up. Find a way to focus on what you can control. The third part of emotional resilience, how to train is, you have to learn to love and accept yourself even if you don't have that which you're after. Whether it's the money, whether it's the promotion, whatever it is. Why? Because this is the ultimate thing that will help you move forward. When you train your body, when you train your mind, you change your state. So physically something happens to you, your focus change, you feel like, okay, I feel better now. But it won't last until you accept yourself or you love yourself with whatever it is that you have right now. And how do you do that? Again, it's training. One thing that you can do is when you brush your teeth, if you have a mirror in front of you, look at yourself in the mirror while you're brushing your teeth. Now, you can do this. So look at yourself and it's gonna feel weird at first, but the more you do it, the more it comes to you naturally. Tell yourself, I am looking to get that promotion. I am looking to move up in my career. I am looking to earn more money. I am looking to be in a better team. I am looking to do whatever it is that you want to do, right? But 
even though I'm in search of that, right now, right here, I still love you. Because you can and because you deserve it. There's two ways to win. The first way to win is to play, not to lose, right? So your moves are very defensive. You make sure you do whatever it takes to not lose. The second way to win is to play to win, right? So you go into that game, you go into that tournament, you go into whatever it is that you're going, and you approach it with the mindset that I am going to win. And the way you look at it is completely different. You go because you want to because you know that even if a challenge comes, you will find a way around it. And how do you do that? You keep building emotional resilience through daily practices. Pick something simple first. All the best to all of you. You have this in you. Everything that you need to accomplish, whatever dream it is that you have, you have it in you, right? It is within. All you gotta do is just connect with yourself and go for it.